everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. What are you doing? Nothing. Go away. So welcome to day five of TV Sweeps Week, and today we're going to be taking a look at the shows from ABC. Now, unfortunately, there were a couple of shows that I had to let go because they were cancelled. And one of those shows was a show that I really want to see for a second season, and that, of course, was The Muppets, which I absolutely loved. But there are still some shows that did survive, so let's discuss these shows, starting with Modern Family. Now, of course, I got into this show a little bit later than most, but I have to say that this show is absolutely fun. The entire cast is absolutely awesome, and everybody has their moment in the sun. And I'm actually really happy about this season because we did, in fact, get Nathan Fillion on the show, who plays a TV weather persona who ends up dating Haley Dunphy. And, of course, the funny part about that is that her father, Phil, loves this guy and wants to be best friends with him, but how can I possibly be best friends with a guy who's dating my oldest daughter? Other than that, everybody else has had some really funny storylines. There was a great episode that involved Mitch and Cameron. And again, this is a show that I'm really surprised that I got in too far too late, but I'm really glad that I did because it is a very entertaining show. But now let's move on to the third season of How to Get Away with Murder. And I have been talking a great deal about this show because it is so wonderful and it's so brilliant. Shonda Rhimes can do no wrong in my eyes, and Viola Davis is a goddess to me. But... I was really curious about how long this show was going to go because of the fact that the first season was just so powerful and the second one actually ended up being better than I thought it would be, but the third season got off to a very slow pace for me with a not-so-catching story as the previous two seasons, although, of course, it did go into its winter finale with a big mystery finally being solved, and let me just say this. When we did, in fact, find out who was under the sheet... Let's just say that I will be sticking around to see how the rest of this season unfolds, and I'm still going to be praising this show to no end because it is just that good. But of course, the last show that I want to talk about today is the fourth season of The Goldbergs. This is a show that I've been talking about, and I'm so glad that it's got such a massive following because it really is one of the smarter shows on television. If you love 80s and sitcom nostalgia, if you love all of these actors and actresses that portray this family, then this is your show. It's also another show that Judd Hirsch is on every now and again as Murray Goldberg's father, and he is very funny. Although, ironically, the first time they showed him, he was played by Paul Servino, but I think making Judd Hirsch the grandfather is really funny. So how awesome is this? Judd Hirsch and George Siegel are the two grandfathers of Adam... Barry and Erica Goldberg. That is just so cool to have those two guys as your grandfathers. And all of you Fantastic Beasts fans, you can always tune in to the Goldbergs on Thanksgiving to watch Dan Fogler as Murray's younger brother. And this show has definitely gotten off to a strong start. Of course, it's got the 80s nostalgia. Patton Oswalt is still there narrating the show all of the Wonder Years. And it definitely has so many great moments that make you laugh. And Wendy McClellan Covey, I hope hope that she gets nominated for an Emmy one of these days because she is so brilliant as Beverly. And I'm also glad to see that a lot of these characters are finally taking some new shapes and some new dimensions are being unfolded because Murray used to be a very one-dimensional character and now there's a lot more to him and I'm really enjoying his character in this season. But yeah, the Goldbergs is still going strong. This show will definitely see a fifth season. So that's it, everybody. Another TV Sweeps Week episode. Just two more to go. So please put your comments in the box below and let's talk about any of these three shows on ABC. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode and actions speak louder than words.